guys, Sam Corkies from EVSC, and today I'm here with the brand new Depal SO7, available here in Nebula Green. And I'm gonna tell you everything that you need to know about how to charge it, the battery, its range, and some cool features to help you make your EV decision. The SO7 comes with an 80 kilowatt battery. That's massive, and it gives you a range of at least 475 kilometers. I think they've been a little bit conservative there. You might actually get a little bit more range. From an AC charging speed, it's 11 kilowatts. So that 80 kilowatt battery from zero to full will take eight hours. On a DC charger, you can get a speed of 92 kilowatts per hour. So using a DC charger, this can charge up in about 50 minutes. And with the range that it has, that's a once a week charge, or if you're traveling long distances, you're not gonna have to make too many stops. What Depal has given a standard in the car is this portable AC charger. Now these plug straight into a standard household outlet and charge at about two kilowatts per hour. So it's not going to be your everyday charger if you're traveling long distances because from zero to full, this will take 40 hours. But it's great for emergencies. It's great if you're not really driving that much. But if you do any kind of meaningful driving, as we always recommend, get a charger installed at your home, at your workplace, or start really looking at DC chargers available to you around your region. Download the Plug Share app, the Explorer app, and start seeing what you can use out there. So let's get into this car and show you some more details about it. So to charge the SO7, it's simple. You press this little hatch here and it opens up. I like that, I love the simplicity. And there's two sections and they've clearly marked it. There's an AC port here. So if you unlock that, that's if you're gonna use those smaller AC chargers or the portable that comes with the car. Now, if you're at the bigger DC chargers, the ones that look more like a petrol station, also unlock that little bottom section there, and that's the port. Now, the great thing is this is CCS2, which is the latest plug standard. This is not a car that is gonna outdate quickly. It means you're gonna drive it for many years and you're gonna get really good resale value. So now we've jumped in the car to show you what you can do on the screen here. I really like this screen. You can actually kind of move it around here. I'll actually, let you guys at home see this a bit more clearer. They've set the maximum battery rate. Now, um, D-Power in Australia is recommending between 80 to 90% for charging. Uh, if you're going on long distances, obviously push that out to 100% so you have the maximum range. Um, in terms of charging current limit, you can do a quick 8 amps, 10 amps, 16 or 32 amps. Uh, I normally just leave it at maximum because AC charging can really be done at maximum all the time. Uh, on here, you can create a schedule, which is pretty nice. So if you live at home, you don't have a smart charger or you're using the portable, you can set it so overnight, off-peak rates, maybe save yourself a bit of money. And this is a sick feature. I love this. I hate other uh, cars for not having this, but you can do charging pl plug unlocks automatically. So when your car's finished charging, it can unlock. So you know when you wake up in the morning and you've got to pull it out, you don't have to kind of get in the car or, or stop it via an app or the charger. That is a nice feature. Now, if you're plugged in, uh, a new screen also adds on. So we can see how long's remaining, how much range we have, the battery level. It lets us know it's plugging in. And importantly, guys, if you want, you can set your maximum battery level there. And finally, if you wanna finish your charge, you can do it here. You just press the stop charging button. I've done it now, it's finished. It also tells you on the uh, speakers. So I've shown you everything about charging. Let's see some cool features about this car. Now they gave it to me in nebula green, but it actually comes in seven different colors. Uh, you can get it in a standard 19 inch wheel configuration, or if you're like me, upgrade to the 20s just because you need that extra inch. Um, what I really, really like about this car most out of all is the real personalization of it. When you get in, the screen turns to you, the seat moves forward. There's a super high build quality to this car. It, it doesn't feel cheap. I know with my Tesla, when I close the door, I never feel that kind of safety, you know? I don't know how to describe it. When you close this car, you know that you're in a really good car. They've also put uh, the latest generation synthetic seats. Uh, it feels like real leather, but it's very environmentally friendly, which I like with any EV. Uh, it comes with 14 Sony speakers as well. So for your music buffs, you're gonna really get a nice entertainment experience. Uh, and something that's even cooler is within the headrest, you actually have personalized speakers. So if you've got navigation on, if you've got your own music beats on, you can ignore the kids, you can ignore the wife and uh, just listen away and make sure that you get to your uh, destination as required. Um, and then in terms of the spacing of the car, it's not a cramped car. 
The kids at the back are gonna have plenty of space, easy to get them in and out, and plenty of space for you. Uh, all in all, this is one of the best EVs available in Australia. Now, in terms of everything that you need for EV charging, advice, service, or support, contact the friendly team at EVSE. We're here for you. And on behalf of everybody, thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.